Hello and welcome back to the Restart channel. My name is Shada. I am the co-founder of Restart and today we're doing another product review, taste test, experience, and you're coming along for the ride. Okay, so we've done five milligrams of Delta 9, 10 milligrams of Delta 9, 20 milligrams of Delta 9. This is another 20 milligrams of Delta 9 THC reaction video. However, we just launched a new flavor. Perfect for summer, perfect for anybody who likes a little bit of a sour. This is our drum roll, please. Ta-da! These are our 20 milligram Delta 9 THC sour watermelon gummies. <laughs> no, seriously. So watermelon is like one of my personal flavors. In fact, my fridge is full of watermelon right now. Maybe that will make a cameo at some point once the edible kicks, you'll see me eating watermelon after I ate the watermelon gummy, but I digress. So really want to use these videos to help explain, educate, obviously offer some humor, but these are our hemp derived Delta 9 THC gummies. We, like I mentioned, we offer a few different strengths. These are our highest strength gummy. So 20 milligrams per single gummy. We offer them in a six pack. We also offer them in a 10 pack. You can find these on our website, resourcecbd.com, also in store if you come and see us. Hi, come visit us. We're in Austin at our dispensary. And yeah, like I said, these are our new flavor. They're my personal favorite flavor. I love watermelon. And we're just excited to be able to launch a new flavor just in time for summer and really introduce it to you guys. And like I said, we're gonna have some fun. So. If you're new here, welcome. If you've tuned into our other reaction videos, you know the drill. Okay, so we have a single gummy. This little baby is packing 20 milligrams of Delta 9 THC. And you know, I think I overplayed the last video. I think that I thought I was gonna be way more than I was. I also think I got way more than I felt, if that makes sense. Like it definitely took a little bit longer to take effect, which was both enjoyable and also it would have been better if it just like hit me at once, but it's kind of like a slow fade. But we know that edibles are a slow fade. If you tuned into other videos, if you've tuned into other videos, you have heard then me discuss, it's like, you gotta like lock yourself in, you're in the roller coaster ride. you're journeying through. You gotta wait for this to fully pass through your system. I should mention though, this is very fair and valid. I was just talking to a customer about this at our retail the other day. He was saying that he doesn't wanna wake up groggy after consuming THC. Well, I asked when he was taking the edibles and he said his problem isn't falling asleep, his problem is staying asleep. So he would like, you know, eat the gummy and then go to sleep and then he would wake up groggy. Now I'm not here to say you will not feel groggy. It definitely depends on your biochemistry. It depends on the strength of the gummy. It also depends on when you take it. So rule of thumb, I'm taking this. It's like 6.30 at this point. I'm not gonna go to bed for a couple hours. That's good. That means this is gonna go through my system before I go to sleep. It's gonna make me sleep. It's gonna make me cozy. I'm gonna take it because I like to use THC for sleep. I like to use THC for pain management. This is gonna bing, bang, boom, do the job. I would really advise, like if my bedtime is nine, I would not eat this at 8.50, 8.55, even 8.30. That might even be like too late. You have to understand the the moment you go to sleep, your body stops digesting. And so if you have THC in your system and you ate it before you fully, you know, processed it, you're going to wake up and your body's going to start to what? Process the THC. So just, you know, tip to tip. If you want the benefits, you're going to have to eat it at least, I would say an hour before going to sleep, just so it can break through your body you know, be a little cozy nest for you to sleep in. And then hopefully you won't wake up super groggy in the morning. But that's just my tip. That's my two cents. Would love to hear yours. If you have any thoughts, concerns, questions, let me know. With that said, let's go ahead and do this. Oh, I'm going to make a mess. We're ripping. Oh, look at that. Chewy. Yeah. Chewy, chewy, chewy. Sour. Got a little pucker. Okay. We're going to cheers. Bottoms up. Okay, we did it, yay. Tasted very delicious, not super sour, but for sure tart, coated in sugar. So of course I had to like, you know, lick my fingers off. Tastes like watermelon. I don't wanna say it's not a Sour Patch Watermelon-esque flavor, but it's not, not a Sour Patch Watermelon flavor, if you know what I'm saying. With that said, I should also put a disclaimer, 21 and older. Our products are only for 21 and older. So you have to be an adult. This is not like an advertisement saying this is like, you know, candy for kids. This is adult edibles land. Please and thank you. So now with that said, I'm going to wait. 
it's dinner time, I'm gonna maybe find something to eat. For sure have some watermelon. Maybe even go check on my garden. It's been raining the past couple days and I'm really curious to see how my garden is doing, so. Let's go. Hello, okay, we are outside at my garden. And uh, yeah, maybe like 20 minutes in, don't really feel anything in particular of notice, but it certainly is nice to be outside. I definitely encourage, you know, figuring out and finding what activities you like and how you enjoy consuming cannabis. For me, I am a very active person, so I very much enjoy being outside when I'm consuming cannabis. Certainly, you know, maybe 20 milligrams might be a little on the overdoing it edge. Like I'm not gonna go for a 10 mile hike by any means, but this is the vibe, being out in nature, checking on my little plant babies. So yeah, I wanted to just show you guys something just flew, maybe it was a rock, maybe it was a bird, I don't know. I have some banana peppers, I have some jalapeno, my tomato is going wild and crazy back there. Uh, and then we've got some arugula and some squash also right here. And just wanted to come check on the little plants. TBD until the 20 milligrams hits me. But nature is cool, y'all, nature is cool. Oh man, the lighting here is not great. Went to the grocery store, got some snacks and things for dinner because I didn't really have a ton of stuff for dinner. I had protein, but I wanted a salad. I love making an arugula salad with goat cheese. So secured the goat cheese, the salad, and got some crackers. So you might see me snacking here in a little bit. Probably been like another 20 minutes. I'm feeling it. Again, we're gonna use the kind of like, you know, how. Uh, I feel like when I look at the sun, it's like definitely really intense. However, I did really enjoy being outside, just like walking to my car, even just walking, you know, when I was at my garden, like that was delightful. That was very delightful. Again, nature is key. Eyes, I'm probably on like six milligrams. Like that's what it feels like, like a little bit more than five. I could be conversational if I had to, but we're getting into territory where I don't really want to. So we're gonna head home. We're gonna make some snacks. We're gonna clean the kitchen. We're, well, I should say we're gonna try to clean the kitchen. We're gonna make dinner for sure, because we have to. And more to come when the milligrams, you know, take effect more, because they have, but more. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Okay. My kitchen is dirty right now, so I'm trying not to show you the mess that I have to clean up, but checking in, of course, I'm home now. Yes, music sounds are heightened, so we're getting there. It's also fair to say I acknowledge a couple things in the car. Yes, I am hungry. It's also about to be dinner time. So I'm not saying that these are explicitly THC munchies. However, they could also be THC munchies. If you are someone who is not used to that feeling or effect, THC can stimulate your appetite. Certainly some people want their appetite stimulated, some people don't, but that's why I think it's important to have healthy-ish or healthy snacks in my opinion. So I'm just gonna undo my groceries, eat a little snack, and then make some dinner. Had to get crackers, blueberries. Honestly, I've been loving, shout out Midday Squares, I've been loving these little Midday Squares. They're like a healthy little Reese's peanut butter cup, if you know what I mean. Got some arugula and goat cheese. Now, I definitely wanna eat my crackers and goat cheese. I'm definitely a big sweets person. I said I gotta have some watermelon cause you know, we did a watermelon gummy. So don't mind if I do. We love to cover our watermelon actually in lime juice. So let's see if the lime juice still stuck. Now we put it in the fridge. Oh, that's delicious. Lime is still there. Just a burst of flavor in your mouth. This is what I'm talking about. When I get the munchies, fruit. Fruit is my jam. Y'all can do your, you know, snap, crackle, pop. I'm gonna do fresh fruit. Delicious. I'm just reading this box. It says, be your brightest. Be your brightest. I am. How do I look? Do I look Can you tell? I definitely think sometimes it's in the eyes. How do I feel, how do I feel? I feel hungry and I feel like I could chill on the couch. I feel like if I had to, at this point, could go on a walk, like could walk around. Definitely not at the full 20 milligram peak. That will be an update 
I'm sure coming soon, but for sure feeling it. But also for me, I usually typically consume upwards of 10 milligrams pretty consistently, like almost every day. That yes, 20 is double that, so it is a more heightened effect. My body's pretty acclimated to cannabis and to THC, so I don't get maybe as silly or giggly or overwhelmed by it because I'm just used to it. And so if you're watching and you're like me, you have a tolerance. It's usually what we call that as a tolerance in the industry. And if you're new and you're like, whoa, how am I gonna feel? I always recommend start low, low dose, low milligrams, two and a half milligrams, five milligrams is a great place to start. So if you got these watermelon gummies, cut them in quarters. So a quarter of 20 is... I almost was about to nail it and then I jinxed myself. A quarter of 20 is five. I was gonna be like, and look, you can do math on 20 milligrams. Joke's on me. But you just need to know where to start and how to go from there. See you in a little bit. Dinner came out delicious and food tastes wonderful. Let's see what we made. Arula, goat cheese, balsamic. Olive oil, I put parsley, Italian parsley, and dill in here, and lemon juice. Did I say goat cheese? There's definitely goat cheese. And then we love sirloin cap. It's a really great cut. We get it at Costco, and I made some sweet potatoes with goat milk. And the steak honestly turned delicious. We're gonna have a little steak salad sweet potato moment. I'm feeling for sure. I'm like, I'm gonna say I'm and I think I am because I definitely think I'm for sure like a 17, 18, almost like they're at that 20. So it's doing good. I'm gonna enjoy just waiting um, to dig in, but wanted to check in, let you know how it's going. So it is, it's going. Yeah. We are in bed, we are showered, we are face washed, we are teeth brushed. It is very delightful. I'm gonna have a really tasty, cozy, restful night's sleep. With that said, definitely check out the 20 milligram hemp derived Delta 9 THC gummies from Restart. And don't forget we have that new watermelon, that sour watermelon flavor. Hope you're having a good start to, you know it's not summer yet, but it'll be summer pretty soon, is watermelon season. Also, by the way, if you like this video, you wanna see more of these videos, you haven't checked out our other videos in this series, definitely be sure to check out our channel. Give this video a thumbs up, leave us comments below, let us know what you think, if you wanna see more videos like this, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.